The second of the sacred teachings is love. The ego is the symbol of love. It is a powerful word. To be at peace with yourself and able to express love to your family, friends, and community through your actions and words. Love is a mix of feelings and actions that show a deep liking for someone or something. Deep feelings can be for family and friends. You have to love and like yourself. Make sure to not to put everyone else's needs before your own. Love yourself. When you feel like no one cares, there is always someone that does. Love the people and the creatures of the world. We are never too busy to be kind, caring, and patient, even when it's hard. Love what you do and do what you love. Love life. Don't get lost in the difficult times. There is always something to love and feel good about. Love does not want what belongs to others, and it does not brag. It does not easily become angry or keep track of what others have done wrong. Love is full of joy when truth is spoken. It always hopes it never gives up. The story is about a young boy and something he learned from his father. One night after a very long, rough day at work, my mom made dinner for us. She placed a plate of jam and very burnt toast in front of my dad. Not slightly burnt, but completely blackened toast. I was waiting to see if anyone noticed the burnt toast and would say anything. My dad just ate the toast and asked me, did I do my homework and how was my day? I don't remember uh, what I told my dad that night, but I do remember hearing my mom apologize to dad for burning the toast. I will never forget what he said. Sweetie, I love burnt toast. Later that night, I went to tell my dad good night and, and ask him, did he really like his toast burnt? He put his arm around my shoulder and he said, your mother put in a very long, hard day today and she was very, very tired. And besides, burnt toast never hurt anyone. But you know what does? Harsh words. You know, life is full of imperfect things and imperfect people. And I am not the best at many things. I forget birthdays and anniversaries just like every other human. What I learned over the years is that learning to accept each other's faults and uh, choosing to celebrate each other's differences is one of the most important keys for creating healthy, growing, and lasting relationships. Life is too short to wake up with regrets. Love the people who treat you right and have compassion for the ones who don't. We should love and accept everyone for who they are. Although they may look differently, uh, speak a different language, doing things differently, or have physical challenges. Sometimes hugs and kisses and pats on the back, that's an expression of love. Young children sometimes are more aware of things than adults and make some very wise comments. Billy, only four, he said, when someone loves you, the way they say your name is different. You just know your name is safe in their mouth. And then the key to six, if you want to learn to love better, then you should start with a friend you hate. Wow. Terry, age four, love is what makes you smile when you're tired. Those words spoken by the young are amazing. Words are powerful. They can be words of praise and encouragement. I care about you. These words are not soon forgotten. Love is the strongest power on earth. The three most important things to have are faith, hope, and love. The greatest one of them is love. In the garden of your heart, plant only the rose of love.